In the woods I went to walking In the woods I went to stumbling through the dark Well his hair was tied with ribbon And the staff he hailed it frightened way Man, I really like this music Hello y'all, happy Halloween And welcome back to Dying for Daylight Looks like this time we're going to meet Elvis's ghost and this is some sort of rescue. Here we go! Previously on Dying for Daylight, Dahlia learned that the sun potion was created by Felix, the prop master for the circus. Felix knew his old enemies would be coming for the recipe. He divided the potion's recipe among the members of the circus troupe and told them to spread to the four winds. In the last episode, Dahlia got a portion of the recipe from Tinderbell. Now there are just seven pieces to go. Episode 3, The Glutton of Gilborn. What's this? Oh, something under the baby. Hmm. This might be a clue, you think? I wonder which of the Cirque du Reble troop members would write this. The glutton of Gilborn looks like a V who likes to eat. I'd better fly to Memphis and check it out. I found this in the theater. Whoever scribbled on it was a circus troop member. Call me crazy, but my guess is that was the glutton of Gilborn. Do you be in Memphis? It's my only lead. There's no other clues in the boat. Okay. The Glutton of Gilborn. That's a huge handprint. Yikes. This handprint lock on the door, uh, uh, is on the door to the Glutton's room at the theater. I'd love to snip around in there, see what I can learn about, but the lock is tampered. I bet it was designed by Felix. The man is a genius at mechanics. Mm. Yes. We can now travel to Memphis, yay! Fog Haven. That's not good! I'm not digging in that with my bare hands. Okay, I just noticed it was highlighted, so... Uh, take a broom. There's stuff scattered everywhere. I'd say the glutton gave Farmer John a good shaking before pinning him to the barn door. There's stuff scattered everywhere. I'd say the glutton gave Farmer John... Okay. Nice barn decoration. I'd say a V has been here all right. Oh, that's not very nice. The barn doors are very, very locked. I guess that's necessary when you've got pigs in vampire country. The barn at Hoghaven is locked, and it appears the owner died rather than give up its contents to the glutton. That leaves me with a dead end. There must be some clue here as to what the glutton was looking for. Maybe inside? Ugh. Well, yes. Okay. Okay, I thought that was a broom. Hey, a key. That is, a rusty key. This quickie compost is vicious. Any longer and it would have dissolved completely. I found a key in the quickie compost pile. I bet it fell out of the farmer owner's, par farm owner's pocket while the glutton was kicking him around like a hacky sack. Unfortunately, the compost pile rusted it. I'll need to clean it up before it'll work. Okay. Doesn't seem to be any other place to go right now. Maybe there's a... Some oil somewhere. Oh. A 
Aha! Success! The rest cleaner cleans the key found at Hog Haven. Wow, that's amazing. Too bad it doesn't work on cellulite or wrinkles. Not that I have any. What? What did that have to do with anything? The key fits. Ugh, it smells like pigs. There's a weird undercurrent though. I'd better use my vampire senses. There's more than pig scent here. I think I smell a were pig, but which little piggy is it? Um, this one? Listen up, pigs. I know there's a were pig in here somewhere. Why don't you speak up? Hmm, apparently asking nicely isn't going to get me anywhere. The were pig is not going to speak up. I'll have to try something else. What? Thing will it show. was a male, and he sounded very, very big. He wanted to get inside to get us. He was looking for pig's feet. Anton, he's the farmer who ran this place. He refused to unlock the door. Poor, brave man. You are one lucky little pig. Anton told the intruder if he wanted pig's feet, he could find him at the place that shall not and where exactly is the place that shall not be named? That place? That restaurant, Sifu Plate. They love serving pork. Mad men. Got it. Thanks, pig. Blue Ribbon, rare trophy acquired. Hog Haven singing pigs won Dauphin County Fair's first place Blue Ribbon. Portacular. Eh. This little were pig had a cush life at Hog Haven, a no kill porcine sanctuary. But then they were invaded by a hungry vampire. He played dumb until Dahlia made him sing like a canary. Petite Pete, my old Kentucky home. Let's see. Petite Pig, a little were pig at Hog Haven, gave me the scoop on the glutton. The big G was after pig's feet and was sent to a restaurant called Sivu Plate. And Memphis. Maybe I'll catch him there. Downtown. Cebu Plate. There's something rank on the glass. 
Uh, she didn't say it all, okay, but yeah, I see the handprint. Yum, nice fresh oxtail. Ew, that print has to be the gluttons. Guess he stopped by to do some window drooling. I am seriously grossed out. Hmm, I wonder if I can copy that handprint. Hopefully I can find some tape or something good. Nice, someone was drooling over this butcher shop window. Three guesses who it was. I could use that big old handprint, but how to get it off the glass? I think this may call for a trip back to New Orleans. Anything else I can look at here? Oh. Hmm. This place doesn't feel as empty as it appears. Even besides the corpses, I mean. I'd better use my vampire senses. Just as I thought, someone is hiding. If he doesn't come out soon, I'll grab him. But I think I'll look around first. Oh, that's the top of his head. I mean, I like pig's feet myself, but you. Congratulations, you have found six pig's feet. Oh, please, stop the banging. My last now, she is shot. <laughs> oh, it's just hat. Suck it up, man. I'm looking for the glutton of Gilborn. I take it he's been here? Oh, oui, was that nasty brute? He killed my sous chef. And Monsieur Obo himself, yes. Me, he also threatened to kill. He was looking for pig's feet? Oh, oui. I tell him to take it all, but then this is glutton. He decides that Monsieur Bobo himself has cooked a recipe. Huh? Cooking oil. A girl can always use some of that. Uh, why is there pan pancakes? And that's just a random carton of eggs. It's like somebody came back from the grocery store. And, yeah. What recipe did he want you to make? Oxtail and pig's feet stew in blood puree. I do not know how to make such a thing, but I lie. I tell him I would cook it for him. And when he comes back, that would be the end of Monsieur Bobo. That is tough luck. Well, thanks for the info. Wait, you say he really wanted this oxtail stew thing? Oh, he is crazy for it. Interesting. Thanks. Here's one for the there's no accounting for taste file according to the chef at Cebu Plate. Glutton wanted pig's feet for a favorite recipe of his oxtail and pig's feet stew in blood puree. Maybe if I make the stew, I can eat the glutton to give up what he knows about the sun potion. Great idea, if only I had a recipe for the stew. I need to collect all the ingredients first. Well, I thought that was a hidden object. Uh, Thing. My mistake. Wow. Are you really the ghost of Elvis? No, darling. I'm Melvis. The best darn Elvis impersonator in the South. Or I was. Oh, well, sorry for your death and all. Thank you. Thank you very much. You wouldn't happen to know a dish called oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree, would you? Now, there's a question. You know, the king took his food very seriously. So I made it a point to expertise myself in Southern cuisine. I saw that recipe once. It was in a cookbook shop called Southern Grease. I don't remember the cookbook title, but it had a blue cover. The title had nothing to do with the king, and there was something about foreign recipes. Oh, and I do believe there was a loaf of bread on the cover. I'm impressed. That's some memory you've got there. The dead are like elephants. We don't forget. Say, you wouldn't have any spare sequins, would you? No. Shame. Melvis saw a book with a recipe for oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree. It had a blue cover with a loaf of bread on it. The title had nothing to do with Elvis and there was something about foreign recipes. I'll have to go to the Southern Greece cookbook shop to see if I can find it. 
Unless I'm mistaken, that's an oxtail. I'll need one of those for the glutton's recipe. Unless I'm mistaken, that's an oxtail. I'll need one of those for the glutton's recipe. Yeah. Cut the glass or something. Human food. Too bad I can't eat it. A bin of potatoes. Always cheery. Hey, good cooking. Let's see. Shift books around to uncover the books below them in the stack. Working until you find the book, Melvis. Describe. Move that book down to the slot at the green dispense button. Note, each slot can hold no more than four books. Click anywhere to close this tutorial message. Fire inside. Create yourself a party tinsel. Striker 2030. Justice and Glory, Rat Tales, Ta Tokyo, some sort of cookbook. I went, oh. Well, that looks like what I'm looking for. I'm pretty handy in the kitchen. I could make this recipe myself, but I'll need to collect all the ingredients first. Congratulations, you have acquired the cookbook which contains the recipe you need. See the journal for details. Oxtail and pig's feet and blood puree recipe. Oxtail. You can't tell how many oxtails I need, but I need at least one. Six pig's feet. Four rotten potatoes. Four carrots seared to black. One bunch of parsley. One bundle Lithoslavania, I have Sambuca herb, one quart blood, any variety. Mix all ingredients in a large soup pot and bring it to a boil. Okay. I got the pig's feet and I got some oil. Oh, there's something I still need here. Oh, the recipe here's... calls for four rotten potatoes, and these aren't rotten. I'll take some, but I'll have to find a way to decay them. Oh, yeah. You. I'll stick these in here for a bit. These look perfectly rotten. I'll take them. So, does the one potato count, or do I need to get more potatoes? That works. I guess it's a vampire recipe, so... Okay, where to next? Hey Melvis, what do you know about this butcher shop? I'm thinking about breaking the glass. I wouldn't try it if I were you, little darling. There's an alarm on that shop and the police station's around the corner. If you were like me, you could fade through the wall, but you aren't, uh-huh. You can fade through the wall? Excellent. I need that oxtail. Chop chop. Well, let me see. I might be so dispossessed if you find me some nice shiny sequins. Hmm. I don't suppose threatening you would work, seeing as how you're already dead. Being incorporeal has its privileges. Uh. I need some of that oh. parsley for the oxtail and pig's feet stew recipe. Oh, 
I guess I remembered. Flesh-colored clay. I think I'll take this with me. I don't know why I picked that up, but evidently I need it. Oh. Congratulations, you have found a jar of sequins. So is... Dude just dead? Hello? Slick? You still in there? Oh, it's you again. That's right. Aren't you lucky? Would you mind passing me another bag of blood? What are you, feeding a vampire legion? Do we really have to discuss this every single time? All right, let's cut to the chase. I need a TV. It's boring in here. I could get you a TV, or I could open this door again and rip your head off. I disconnected the camera. Want bloody? Get Tilly. Thanks. That V is seriously asking for it. Slick won't give up a bag of blood unless I get him a TV. Keep squeaking, little mouse. You won't be safe behind that door forever. She can be so mean. Here you go. Sequence. Ooh, shiny. I love them. I really, really love them. Uh-huh. Now let's see your wall melting act. I need the oxtail hanging in that butcher shop. My pleasure, sweetheart. Have fun with that meat, darling. I'm off to find a sewing machine. Well, let's see if it's... Is that clay? Yes, that could work. It's worth a try, anyway. The door's unlocked. Uh, let's see. Feeling something is poured into that funnel, but what? Sambuca. The Bilious Barbecue Pit in Memphis. I should check it out. Fabulous crest. I love it. I don't suppose the glutton would miss this much. Letho Slovenian crest. Rare trophy. The crest of the glutton of Gilborn's homeland was lifted from the spruce burn of the little stunning on a black hat. No wonder the glutton has a hankering for oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree, just like dear old mom used to make. That coffin is bigger than some apartments I've lived in. Ugh. You must be the glutton of Gilborn. My, such a big, imposing fellow. What do you want? I heard you were looking for pig's feet. Can I help? 
No one can help me. I'm in torment. For a hundred years, all I can think about is food. Because I'm a vampire, I can't eat any of my favorite foods. A place like this, all I can do is smell. It's inhuman. Hmm. I must admit, I do miss an ice Greek salad now and then. Ha, salad! Yes, I even miss that. But you see, one dish from my childhood, I think I can eat. It's... Oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree. Yes, the blood puree! I could maybe a stomach this human dish. Do you agree? Sounds reasonable. Unfortunately, I met Monsieur Bobo, and he has no idea how to make the dish. What? But I can make it for you, if you give me that part of the sun potion recipe that Felix gave you. What do you say? He did not give me part of the recipe. He gave me a jar of whale grease. Must be used to make the potion. And I cannot give it to anyone, ever. But you must make the stew, or I will crush you like a walnut. <laughs> nice. Hmm, no one's using that TV. I think I'll take The glutton has a rare well grease that used to make the that's used to make some potion. I must get it from him. He's big, but fortunately not too bright. He's hungry. So am I. Congratulations, you have four, found four blackened carrots. Hey. Okay. Here's your TV. What? No HD? I'll count from ten. Ten, eight, three. All right. Sheesh. Chill. Here's your blood. It's okay, Monsieur Bobo. It's just me, Dahlia. I'm going to use your kitchen for a bit. Oui, oui, he's all right. Congratulations, you have gathered all the ingredients for the oxtail and pig's feet and blood puree. Time to cook. Uh. Oxtail, pig's feet, rotten potatoes, carrots, parsley, lithos, lithania. I have said Uh, makes sense to put in the blood first. Okay. Pig feet. This is weird. Potatoes. Carrots. Um, okay then. There. That's the recipe, all right. It's really disgusting. Oh well, there's no accounting for taste. I need to get it to the glutton before it gets cold. What is it you make? Oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree. Want a taste? Oh, Zutaro! You saved Monsieur Bobo! How could I repay you? Money is good. So impersonal. No, you must take my golden spoon. I won it in the cooking contest. And now, I give to you. Gold is also good. Thanks. Golden spoon. Monster Bobo's prized golden spoon. It was given in gratitude to Dahlia for saving his neck. 
obtained by making the oxtail and pig's feet in blood purees too. Handsome. Oh, what's that smell? You mean my lunch? Oxtail and pig's feet stew and blood puree. Really yummy. Ah, oh, give me! Well, I guess I can give you a little. Um, more, more! I want it all! It is pretty good, isn't it? What a shame that I couldn't bake the bone powder biscuits that go with it. They really make this dish. But they call for whale's grease and I'm all out. Uh, uh, biscuits? They soak up the blood puree. It's to die for. Oh, make them, make them, please. Oh, I'll do anything. I'd love to. But I'm out of whale grease, so... Ha! I have some! Ha! Oh, but you can't use it all! I'll just need a pinch. Ah, uh, take it! Great! I'll go make a batch and be right back. You wait to eat that stew now. Glutton of Gilborn. Dahlia cornered the legendary Glutton in a hole-in-the-wall barbecue in Memphis. After beguiling him with a stew and blood puree, and barely escaping being sat on, Dahlia got the goods from the glutton, an item necessary to make the sun potion. You got this card after getting the well grease. No one can help me, I'm in torment. Congratulations, you have earned the well grease. Hmm. The spicy barbecue smell in this place is so thick it's screwing with my nose. But there's something here. I'd better kick up my vampire senses. Okay, okay. That ass. Oh, hey there. I I just stopped by for something to eat and I You're following me? Again? Me? You got it the wrong way around. I came here on business, see? And I CIA, do tell. To be continued. The flagelli, uh, vampires. Mm. In the woods, Congratulations, you have successfully the finished this episode of Dying for Daylight. Episode 4 Eat is now unlocked. I think there's only four episodes. Uh, but, um, that's all for our session today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is Brush Fire Wind Dragon signing off. Chorus, sound of trumpets, and the blaze it peace.